In St. Petersburg the city's championship opens. There will be a lot to look at. Medalists in singles will get 200, 150 and 100,000 rubles, pairs and dancers, 300, 200 and 150,000, in the dance involved in only two duos. It means BR 2.05 million will be raffled off in total. However, the day before the start of the championship was marred by withdrawal of several key participants. Pyotr Gumenik withdrew on Friday because of fever, his main rival in the Russian championship Evgeny Semenenko, who is also not feeling well, and Mikhail Kolyada, who has a new exacerbation of sinusitis, a month ago he withdrew from the Russian championship for the same reason. The question here is not even about the withdrawals, we will not suspect the athletes of simulation, but the fact that they all applied for the city championship, which is not a super important start. Even if it can bring good prize money. About the same Kolyada and sinusitis known for a long time, and in November he successfully underwent surgery. Either it wasn't so successful, or it's so chronic, or it's just fine, many of us give up on our health at a young age. It's impossible to say that athletes do this. They rather sacrifice it. But the question is the same, why everyone came to the city tournament? According to the information, the St. Petersburg Federation urged top athletes to enter this tournament, to sell tickets and create a stir. It is not about prize money or monetary motivation. There is nothing wrong with that, everything is logical, but in this case, the withdrawals were also worth it. If only because the previous tournament took place a week ago, and the country is in the grip of a flu epidemic. One way or another, the roster is thinned. So far it remains the leader Dmitry Aliyev, Makar Ignatov, Andrei Mozalev, Gleb Lutfullin and Madvi Vetlugin for men, for women, Elizaveta Tuktamasheva. She has no direct competitors, but if she makes a mistake, Ksenia Gushina, Sofia Zaharova or Agnita Latushkina who took part in the Russian championship can come close. Elizaveta Nugumanova was withdrawn from the St. Petersburg championship a few days before the start, and there's a lot of mystery surrounding this withdrawal, too. Fontanka wrote that the figure skater did not pass the mandatory medical examination, but it is not quite clear how in principle she was going to participate in the tournament if she is now in Sochi, from where she posts sunny videos. Either they declared her out of ignorance, or her plans changed. It's also an unconventional story. Italian figure skater Daniel Grassel is one of the world's most talented single skaters. He began to draw attention in his junior years, performing the most difficult quadruple Rittberger. Grassel's best season so far has been last season, silver at the European Championships, his first career adult Grand Prix podium and his fourth consecutive Italian Championship title. It seemed that with the departure of Yuzuru Hanyu and Nathan Chen, Daniel would finally be able to establish himself at the world top. In the off-season, however, the Italian unexpectedly left his longtime coach Lorenzo Magri. The attempt to leave his comfort zone did not pay off, the skater performed with mixed success, nearly injured himself once and, by some miracle, reached the Grand Prix Finals, where he finished last. Grassel and Magri embraced warmly at the Warsaw Cup, adding to this fact the congratulations of Lorenzo in social networks after Daniel's victory in Sheffield, the fans believed in the skaters soon returned to his native rink. However, Grassel was already preparing for the European Championship in Moscow. Even his most loyal fans criticized Daniel for his decision to move to the group of Atari Tutberids. After the short program in Espo, Grassel said the following, it was very difficult to get on the ice today because I was getting so many angry messages. I tried to disconnect from it, not watch anything, because it's painful for me. I will continue to work even harder to find extra motivation. Despite the haters, Daniels repeated several times that he separated sports and politics, expressed confidence in Tutberidze's innocence in the Voliva case and noted that he plans to continue to work with the Russian specialist. And then the floor was taken by Andrea Gios, president of the Ice Sport Federation of Italy who supported Grassel's choice. He has a commitment for four years, and he wants to prepare as well as possible. From a technical point of view, 
it's a great choice. We haven't found any documents showing that Ms. Terry Tutberid supports the fighting. The Voliva case? There are suspects. But gentlemen, how many suspects do we have in each area? Suspected does not mean guilty. At the European Championships, after the short program, Daniel is 8th, 7 points behind the bronze medal position. And there is a chance that the Italian will take his medal already today, a year ago. Grasso lost about the same amount, but ended up taking silver. Georgian figure skater Maurice Kvitlashvili answered a question about training with Athera Tutberids at Krustelny. In November the athlete went to Italy to work with coach Lorenzo Magri, but he returned to Moscow before the new year. Today he performed a free program at the European Championships in Espo, Finland. Doctors found me with bone marrow inflammation, but came out without injections. I already tried to work on my health, but I didn't have time to heal up to the end. I don't feel very well, honestly. To some extent, you can say that I was not ready to compete, neither mentally nor physically. I am still recovering. I came back to Moscow before the new year. We tried to get ready for the European Championship in Moscow. I do not know yet, whether I will go to Italy yet, everything is under a question. It was rather spontaneous, I was not able to get used to the season and feel confident in competitions. In Italy you are not quite at ease. Of course, everything is different. But I am very grateful to the coaches, they paid me a lot of attention, thanks for working with me, trying to cheer me up. Will I train at Christ only from now on? I don't know yet, Fightlashvili said. He also commented on the beginning of a Terry Tutberidz's cooperation with the Italian figure skater Daniel Grassel. I heard he was going to come to training camp and so on for a long time, even before the coronavirus pandemic. I heard he really wanted to. Good for him to come, said the Georgian skater. The National Olympic Committee NOC, of Norway did not support the possible admission of Russia and Belarus to the competition. The knock of Norway does not want the Russians and Belarusians to participate in international competitions. Since last February, we have taken a clear position on whether to allow Russia and Belarus to participate, in the current situation, it is wrong, and we strongly recommend not to do so. This position has not changed. The International Olympic Committee IOC, states that sanctions against Russia and Belarus remain in place. At the same time, different approaches are being explored, so that athletes from Russia and Belarus will be allowed to compete again. Apparently, most Olympic committees agree to continue working in this direction. The situation is unclear and constantly changing. The IOC has not made a final decision on this question, stated in the Norwegian organization.